Hello everybody, welcome to Nego Terra Odyssey. I have got something so unique to share with you, you guys. I started my morning meditation with a prayer for me to allow myself to break out of a kind of bondage I have with patterns in my life in the morning where I start to do something and because I have so much energy and I pour it in so many directions after a couple hours I was becoming fatigued and kind of like scattered so I really really asked for direction to do things differently and to feel differently so this is what I did I was I asked my body what do you need right now hi moonbeams and it said water here's moonbeams right here and I got a big vial of water with lemon juice. I scrambled a couple eggs. I brought them out in the sun and I changed my whole opinion of what the morning should be like. Instead of reclining in bed and surfing the net, maybe watching a show and getting tired and needing to go back to sleep, I just brought everything outside and I'm like, we're gonna have a beautiful creative read outside before everybody's out and about. As you guys can hear the birds everywhere. And I just wanted to imagine the outcome of how beautiful it would do to do a pop of positivity first thing in the morning, like before I go anywhere or experience anything where I've just meditated on what's best and asking the universe what's great, put it on the table and then show up for it. And um, I was guided to do Belinda's fun read next outside. I brought my jewelry outside and I'm gonna be doing in the next video a how to make a wrap bracelet and it's funny how things take off and one person has an interest in another and another because I've had people asking about the wire and DMing me. Very interesting. So you guys, let's just talk about the cards that came up for this because Seven of Cups is a very unique card for me and it's also something if I'm not careful can scramble my brain as a creative. I want to do great videos. I want to make jewelry. I want to go out in nature. But what I need to do is give myself permission to slow down and choose one thing and be present in that and thoroughly enjoy it. And that's what this is about. This is how we get the juice out of life. It's kind of like our mood board. I want one goal and I want to focus on it and enjoy that. Not be reaching, wanting, grasping. And I'm watching this show right now that was that really drove point that home that man is always wanting, is always wanting and seeking. But if we are not embracing the present moment and having joy for the condition conditions we're in like right now the temperature could not be more perfect it's like 75 sunny no wind it's ideal and the fact that I'm slowing down enough to feel this amazes even me sometimes because the mornings are where for whatever reason we think we have to gear up be productive and that's where I overwhelm myself so I slowed it all down and I made a choice I'm going to do one thing I'm going to do the daily pop and have it be beautiful out in the sun calm and have creative engagement in that. Really set that mood for your goal or dream. That's what it asks us. So, you know, you don't have to be an artist. You don't have to do anything, you know, elaborate to have this creative engagement and have your mood board. What do you want? Do you want to feel very comfortable in yourself and your body? And I just saw this video this morning, which I loved. It was called Create an Outfit for Your Endeavor. And it's saying you, you can pick whatever, one sundress and say, when I wear this, I am going to be extra extroverted and happy and cheerful and um, really take care of myself and eat well. It'll be like your magic dress and label an outfit like that, a piece of jewelry. I do do that with jewelry and I actually name them like the bracelet that um, I put on IG this morning, I called it either I think it was the eye of Andromeda like weird things come into me and then I infuse it with this intention to make a choice have follow through have focus do it well feel empowered by it imagine a great outcome you know create in your mind an image of what you seek include all the finer details whether they're material possessions experiences for example you might want to become an awesome business tycoon picture what suit or outfit you're wearing the kind of laptop you own the boardroom scenario the amount of money in your bank imagine yourself running Running this business devote as much time as you can to each day visualizing and concentrating on these images and thoughts um, even if you are um, visualizing marriage and love imagine the person of your dreams right we, this is how we tackle dreams one at a time we don't want everything we're not casting this net 
of insanity and trying to pull in everything at once, like we put in every order at Amazon. Think if we ordered 50 things from Amazon, are we gonna cherish those things if they all came in at once? No, because we don't have the time because we compacted everything. So this is leaving time in between for reverence, right? So let's talk about love and marriage. Imagine the person of your dreams. What do they look like? What's their hair color? What sort of eyes? What do they say to you? Create your own script and practice by holding that thought or vision of what you desire in your mind while you wait for the bus, while you wait in line for your coffee. And the more you exercise this visualization, the easier it gets and the sooner you'll achieve that. Because again, seven of cups can overwhelm us. So much choice. I'll give you an example. I like to have these natural touches in the outside read. And I saw these big leaves and flowers and I was going to gather this huge cornucopia. And I thought, you know what? The messages and ideas are already here, so that's what you should begin. Forget about all the aesthetics, you've done enough, you know, and begin. So focus and follow through. So remember, imagine the very thing you seek. It is an aid to achieving it. Just keep visualizing it. I visualized a beautiful natural read outside while I was inside scrambling eggs. I was like, I want it to just be simple and beautiful and effective. And I held space for that and then came out and then recreated it. Now let's talk about the star because this is absolutely about our wish. So I'll prop that up in the orange calcite. I'm all about orange and yellow today and sun and abundance. And this star, you know, this is talking about, let's daily affirm, I am conscious of my thoughts and actions and intentions, right? That means we know what we're asking for. We know what's truly meaningful and special to us. Not what society thinks we want, not what our parents think we want, not what, you know, our school system, our church or any of that, but what are our intentions and our goals for ourselves. Everybody is very busy and immersed in their own lives. So if we do something to please them, it's just a brief glimmer on their chart. But if we do something to please ourself, it kind of sets the course for us to do things that activate that self-esteem, that courage, and that mantra that when I do it for me, I do it well, right? If we do anything half-hearted, like to impress somebody else or do it for somebody else, why are we doing that? In that moment, you might get that brief pat on the back or, oh, good job, or I'm glad you went to the school I chose for you or wanted or my alma mater or this or that. But it's basically living your life for somebody else when we're doing that. And we're not doing that anymore with the star card. It's ourselves. I believe and I have faith in my creativity and capacity to create a life I want. If you guys could see my environment right now, you'd think the fairies were going to just jump out. There are little floaty white feathery things coming out from a plant and they're just floating all around and I'll, I'm going to try to film it and put it on the end of this so you can just see the environment because I love it so much and I'll just do like a little mini thing of my favorite spots around me and why I come read in this area again it helps me okay you guys know that what I seek is already mine and I am grateful for that mine is always a sense of well-being because whenever I have that everything stems from that love, creativity, groundedness, clarity, everything. So I always ask for a sense of well-being. And then my internal voice is saying, you know, you are healing on a cellular level. You are right. I make really good choices nutritionally, mentally. And also I know my bandwidth and I don't extend. With so much fire in my chart, I literally come out of that gate so fast that by midday I can have burnout. So this is about pacing, right? That's what I truly believe the universe will bring to me. And it does when I ask. So ask for that. Now the cherry, it's coming quickly, you guys. It really is ask the universe. Here's an exercise that lets you ask the universe uh, via a crystal. And I love this. Lapis lazuli is the stone that's symbolic of the present moment. When used as part of kind of like an oracle spell, its energy draws on your deepest desire and connects to the universe. So I love lapis lazuli because it, it really helps me speak with clarity. So if you put it in front of you, reflect for a moment about whether it's the time to set a manifestation and those wheels in motion. Pick up the stone, hold it in your hands, and relax. As you hold the stone, say aloud, is this a good time to perform my manifestation ritual? And you put it back, relax. If you feel it's yes, you just go in there. And what you do is activate it with what you want. Let go, acceptance, gratitude, bring it all in. Say whatever you want, generosity and gratitude into the stone. I am pleased when I, I am fascinated by, I enjoy, I am grateful for, I desire. Infuse it with that. And then when you look at that stone, I'm telling you, just like that outfit you chose or anything else, it's infused with those intentions and you will recall them. That's what charging a crystal is about too. Like say I take this beautiful orange calcite and I 
feel it and I say, I want, I intend for this day to be filled with magic and creativity and calm and balance and, um, to project only positive energy to people around me. Now, the more I glimpse this stone, it reminds me of the words I infused in it. And it brings that kind of vibration back to me. And I am now kind of infused with that same energy. I love that. It kind of generates the crystal to do and say, and be on that same frequency that you are of joy and love and light and generosity. And I feel like it it's a reminder. Anything that you own can be kind of charged and infused with that too. And colors come into play. I love working with the top spectrum of the prism, red, orange, yellow, because I feel like those are power, co those are power colors. They're about warmth, sun, growth, um, and really just feeling and love. And also, you know, I put rose quartz in there too, about love and being balanced. And whatever your perception is of yourself in the day, that's kind of how it unfolds. So let's have the perception that the world is kind and joyous and abundance and loving. And you have a perception of yourself as smart, strong, capable, grounded, healing, you know, loving, loved, and growth orientated, all of that. And then because what you're seeking is also seeking you, all those things come to pass and come in to your kind of orbit because you're drawing them. You know, we are on a frequency. I love also to write down our intentions for ourselves in our day. That helps them move faster. I love how it was just 11.11. So that is your daily pop, you guys. I hope you go over and come check out how to make a wrap bracelet. And I'll be doing all kinds of things because I had, as a self-taught person making jewelry, I'd watch some videos years and years and years ago, but when I began this process, there wasn't, even, there wasn't that much available. But I remember just through test and theory, I was finding out what is the best wire class way to do things and have also a piece of jewelry multitask. Like I made a, I, I now like to make a double wrap bracelet if I use it with wire and like a magnetic clasp, be as like a necklace, but be able to wrap around your wrist either two or three times as well to be a bracelet. It's like, I want things to multitask and be multi-purpose. So I'm really excited about that video. So again, you guys, I have some pieces that I just created over on my Instagram at sparkwist11, if you'd like to check them out too. I'm still um, making some pieces for Hagen's fundraiser for his athletic team over on Facebook. If you guys wanna go check it out, there's a link on my Facebook, Melanie Williams, and it's, you'll see it's a big Viking and it's called, I think it's Snap Rays and you just tap right on it. And thank you guys again for donating. And um, yeah, I feel, I felt so happy they reached their first goal. So now um, we're on to the secondary goal. So remember you guys, all you need is the resolve to want to make positive changes, to want to have growth and to feel better and have a sense of well-being. Once we decide we are going to feel, be, and attain certain things, it's already in motion and that's what kicks this in. So love and light, you guys.